Hey everyone, welcome back to Curse to Colour and Sketch. I was recently approached by Collier um, if I would like to review these um, nylon brush pens. I'm really, really excited to try these out because I have already seen these um, and they look just beautiful. So I'm really interested to see what they work like, how they go down, what the um, colours are like, etc. So first off, my first impression when I opened it was that it was really lovely packaged. Um, it just comes in this little cardboard sleeve um, with the company's name on the front, Collier um, Nylon Brush Pens, 50 Premium Nylon Brush Pens and two water tank brushes. So you get two water br tank brushes in here, which is just amazing. So you would pull this sleeve off and you are left with the most beautiful case. Um, I do know that some water brush pens just come in um, like a cardboard box with um, in trays, if you've seen the plastic trays, and then you obviously need to find some better storage yourself. This comes with this beautiful zipper case and it is a really good quality case. It's a nice size everything about it is just really nice i really like the logo as well with a little rainbow one it's really cute so if i can get into these you have this little mandala that it comes with inside you can practice on the paper then because this is the paper that they have in their coloring books i do actually have one of their coloring books but they do have quite a few this is one of them it's ring bound and the paper in it is just top quality um you know it's almost as if they had a big a business plan that there was coming out with supplies after the books because they made the paper just perfect for water mediums so back onto the brush pens put that one out the way so you get 50 colors and I have swatched these out for you already, which I'll show you in a second. But they look like this. So you have the company name again, Collier Nylon Brush Pen. And you have a name of the pen and you have a number for the pen. And then it's got the cutest little mandala design at the bottom. And the colour is on the end. So that's the colour of the pen. The nibs on them, if you've never had any experience with these brush pens I might want to get you in frame um I like that really really lovely they just they look like good quality ones they are only 26.99 at the minute on Amazon UK these pens which I think is just brilliant so you have these these and these and then these are your these these and these <laughs> These are your water tanks. So you get two in here. One is like a square. I imagine that would be good for backgrounds and large areas. And then you have a more detailed. This will come to a point when you've got your water on it. A more detailed one. Which I do love having spurs um of these they are very very handy to have so the fact that they've included two in there is really lovely right the swatches for them are here hopefully i can get them in shot i've zoomed in a bit too close so we'll just come out a bit so these are the swatches you've got quite a nice range of colors there as i was coming to this section swatching these all I could think was I came to pumpkin and then I thought, oh, that's such a nice autumnly colour. Um, a fall if you're in America. <laughs> such nice autumn and fall colours down this section that I really want to do like a Halloween page, pumpkin page with these. So overall, so far, I'm really impressed. So I'm going to get a couple of colouring pages and we're going to get going on testing these out. So I'll just pop this to the side and I'll get these out. So I have this lovely page here out of the colour Ya Mandala book 
absolutely stunning. I'm going to be using this pen, this pink, Softest Rose. And the first way to use these pens is to go directly from the pen onto the paper. So I'm going to do that on this nice little flower here. And you can see how um, nice and um, fine detail the nib is, so you can really get into those tiny, tiny places. It's not a problem at all. They're going down nice. There's no streaking. So that's the first way to do it. Right, so another way you can actually use these pens to blend, which I like doing, um, is to actually dip the nibs in water. So I have actually just got a little cup with water in here. And I'll just show you, I'll just try and get it in shot. And I am going to try and blend one of these flowers. I'll probably do this one. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just go in with my lightest colour. I'm going to start at the top of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my darkest colour. I'm going to dip the nib directly into the water. And I'm going to go over the top of this. I think I put a bit too much water on that. If you just rub it off on a piece of tissue at the side, it will bring the pigment back a touch. There we go. And try that again to show you, because I put a bit too much water on that. So I'll go in with the light first. Just touch it. And straight on. That's one way to blend two colours. They are water based so you can just do that. You can add water. If you find that they're getting a bit dry you can add the little bit of water. So that's another way. The next way that you can use these pens and I'm going to use different colours now just so we can see the different shades of colours we've got on offer. I'm going to use some oranges, I think. These oranges look really pretty. So I've got two oranges now. So the next way that you can use them is by putting the colour onto a palette. This is just the Caran d'Ache palette that you can get on Amazon, one side's textures, one side's smooth. To use these pens, you want to use the smooth side. So you just draw it on there. It looks like nothing's coming out, but it is, I promise you. You just draw that straight on there. And then you get your water tank brush. You can even add a bit more water if you want the colour to be lighter. The more water you add, the lighter the um, shade's going to be. And I'm just going to go in here with it. So you can see, the more water you add, the lighter it is. That's a really soft, peachy shade. Really nice. Really, really nice shade that. You can mix two colours together, so this one's a dark orange, and then you could add just put this on the side. So we've got a bit of blue, a bit of orange. You could mix it. Bit 
of blue, just add some water on, with the orange to dull it down. This is how, if something's too bright, you can make another colour out of it. This one's like, this one is a nice pumpkin colour. So I'm going to go in, where should I go? I'll do this flower with this one. I love these muted tones as well that you can create. Really pretty. It's really, really pretty that one. So what I'm going to do next to show you. So the next thing I'm going to try and show you is a little trick with salt that you can use with water mediums. So I'm going to try and do this on a large area of the background here because this is all going to be too tiny to um, show you a good effect on this one. So I'm going to go for a dark colour to do this just so that you can see it showing up. I'm going to use a dark blue. So I'm going to go on my palette with it first. I'm going to lay the colour down on here. I'm going to add quite a bit of water to it shortly. So that will do. Add some water. Just really wet it. And then I'm just going to go in. No rhyme or reason to it. I'm just going to work it down on the page. And then I'm going to get some salt, just your regular table salt. Just get some in my hand here. And I'm going to sprinkle it. Not too much, but you want enough so you're going to get a nice effect. So what that salt's gonna do is gonna it's gonna um almost repel the ink from where you've put it. So I will carry on with another part of this um section whilst we wait for that because you do have to give it a few moments to um react and then you brush the salt away. So I'll just let that react. You can probably see it ha happening on camera, which is quite nice. And when I think it's got to a point that I want it at, I will shake the salt away. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is how to lift colour out using tissue. Um, that gives a quite a nice effect. So I'm going to use this space over here again to show you as it's a larger area. I just wanted to use this paper um, so that you can see if you want to get the paper it is really good. It's like cardstock almost. So I'm going to try and find a red for this. Just grab one out, not to be a second. Right. So again, I'm going to go onto my palettes because then I can add some water to it and get that really loose, um, nice flow. I do prefer doing it this way on the palette. If you haven't got a palette, you can use a piece of plastic. Um, you can use the wallets that you put PDFs in. You don't need to go rushing out to buy anything fancy. So I'm going to add my water to this. Oh, it's still got some blue pigment on it. My bad. Right. So I'm going to go over here with that colour. So you can see that this paper is really good for the water mediums. So I'm going to do that and just before it dries I'm going to get a bit of tissue and wherever you want an effect you can 
lift the colour off. Obviously I've lifted quite a lot off there, but you can sort of do your own effect. You can see um, what I'm trying to show you there. And it's really quite pretty. So that's another thing you can do, which is quite nice. So I'm just back with a clean page because I need a nice area where I can do this next thing that I want to show you. So again, I'm going to use my palette. This time I'm using the grey blue for 80. It's a really, really deep colour. I'm going to put it all down on the palette. some water to it using my water tank brush there's a bit of leftover blue on there but it doesn't matter at this point I'm going to apply it to this area a bit more water on there not quite wet enough we don't want this to be too wet because what I'm going to do be doing in a minute is I'm going to be dropping water on which you'll see for the effect, but I do want quite a bit of pigment on there, so maybe just do that to get some pigment down and spread it round. Right, I'm going to let that dry off a little bit because I don't want it to be too wet when I do what I'm going to do. You want to really clean this brush off, so if you've got some tissue or if you've got an old towel you want to wipe this and squeeze it so it comes out so it runs out clear you don't want any pigment on when you're doing this effect otherwise it just won't work so clean your brush off and what we're gonna do i'm gonna bring you in this is what they call the cauliflower effect so you put your color down on the page you don't want it to be too wet and then you're just going to squeeze drops of water on and you'll see what happens. So we're just going to go here. Can you see how it's running off? It almost does look like a cauliflower. I'm just going to keep try and keep my page as straight as I can and do one over here. You can see that happening there. So that's a really cool watercolour effect that you can create and now I'm just going to show you a page that I coloured using these colour uh, water brushes so I really had a lot of fun I'm just going to zoom out now let's move this out of the way so I'll just show you that and then so you can see that we'll move that out of the way and I'll zoom you out one second Get the pens back in frame so i went to town on these these and i used a lot of the colors um quite a few oh pinks purples blues oranges i really did experiment on this next page that i've done um i wanted to test it out here's the page that i did using these water brush pens there, we're in shot there now. What I wanted to do was really test out how they worked on other paper as well. So this is one of my regular colouring books and it went on really, really well. Um, this is the Dream Reese by Maria Trolley. This has good paper also. So yeah, it's worked well on the Colier Mandala book paper and it's worked really well on this too. And I've had so much fun. All this is the brush pens by Colier. I have added a little bit of white gel pen and a little bit of Pebio 3D, the um, raised bumps you can see on the butterflies. But other than that, it's all Colier brush pens and I had so much fun. I do really recommend these. Um, like I say, they just sent on me for an honest review. I'm not being paid to do this, so it is my honest review. And I think they're amazing, especially for the price, $26.99 at the moment on Amazon UK. So I will drop a link in the description for those if you're interested. Here are the swatches again for those. Really, really pretty colours. 
and the case that you get with it as well is good quality case really impressed with the case so that's everything guys thank you so much for watching thank you to colia for sending these out to me i really really do appreciate your generosity and please do like subscribe and comment down below i'll see you in the next one Bye bye